saw from the outside You were running from it all I hit from your blind side You didn't know it at all And you've been here too many times before But God sees the tears that you cry If you'll only change And give him your life God says, child, just please come back home I want to take your heart and make it whole If you'll choose to change, you'll never be the same Cause God just wants to restore your innocence Is this what you wanted? Did he make your dreams come true? Now you're sitting in a corner, alone, and it's only you. And you ache for things you don't understand. That the tears from the pain, they're from your sins. Days when God says, child, just please come back home. I want to take your heart and make it whole If you'll choose to change, you'll never be the same Cause God just wants to restore your innocence He can renew your faith, he'll take away the shame, sin don't walk away. When God says, child, just please come back home, I want to take your heart and make it whole. If you'll choose to change, you'll never be the same, cause God just wants to restore your innocence. together once again for Sato.
everything good comes from you, Father of life. Your love will always pierce through the darkest night. Love as a voice, love as a name, Jesus, Jesus. Your love is a light filling my eyes, Jesus, Jesus. upon your heart and your last breath tore the veil apart you made a way for me to walk in grace so I could love you Jesus face to face and everything good comes from you Father of life, your love will always pierce through the darkest night. Love as a voice, love as a name, Jesus, Jesus, and your love is a light filling my eyes, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, love as a voice, love as a name, Jesus. Jesus, and your love is the light filling my eyes, Jesus. And I will never be the same. Love has called my name. From the ashes, I rise to proclaim. Your love is never defeated and forever. Love is a light filling my eyes, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, love as a voice, love as a name, Jesus. It's Jesus, and your love is a light filling my eyes, Jesus, Put our hands together and welcome Chris Fuller up to get his testimony. Tell us what God did in his life. so bad. I can watch my favorite movies, take some time off work. It's day three. I'm stuck at home and I'm still postponing my laundry. Day seven. I've officially watched everything 
on Netflix. <laughs> Day 10. I'm running out of supplies, but I'm keeping my spirits up and keeping a positive attitude. Day 13. I've officially run out of toilet paper. Day 14, I found some sandpaper in the garage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Day 20, I think, I, uh, I made some new friends. Put our hands together for their last song of the night, Soto!
Feeling the crescendo sunset on a quiet sea Sitting with the ones that I'll forever love We're waiting on a flash of green And even when the nights got cold You have always held me close You're the only rock that I could ever stand on You're the only one for me The sun goes up, the sun comes down This whole world keeps spinning round I'm here traveling down this long and winding road Seasons come and seasons go They take me high, they leave me low But I'm still standing on the only rock I know You're my cornerstone Oh, 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 no matter where I go My cornerstone by my bedside, sweating through a long night, wrestling the hounds of shame. Trying to turn her hands back on a troubling past, every move I make's in vain. But even in the shifting winds, you are who you've always been. You're the only rock that I could ever stand on, through it all you remain. The sun goes up, the sun comes down, this whole world keeps spinning round. I'm here traveling down this long and winding road. This winding road. Your seasons come, the seasons go. They take me high, then leave me low. But I'm still standing on the only rock I know. You're my cornerstone. together for faith over fear.
hung out and you're thinking your hands are tied and he is revealing it's in your mind oh you can't control it you can't control it whoa you're trying to replace it believe in lies you're trying to escape it deep down inside oh you can't control it you can't control it whoa i know that it's hard to change but Jesus made a way We gotta know why can't you, why can't you Give God control Prisoner, prisoner locked up No matter how you try, how you try Lord knows it's been a million times, million times Oh, why can't you, why can't you Give God control Prisoner, prisoner locked up No matter how you try, how you try Lord knows it's been a million times, million times, oh Jesus Christ will give you life when you let go We're making heaven and we can't live without Him His Holy Spirit and everything about it One sin has its hold on you, you can't control it Control it I know that it's hard to change But Jesus made a way Why can't you give God control? Prisoner, prisoner locked up No matter how you try, how you try Lord knows it's been a million times, million times Oh, Jesus Christ will give you life when you let go Prisoner, prisoner locked up No matter how you try, how you try Lord knows it's been a million times, million times Oh, why can't you? God control. We're making heaven and we can't live without Him. His Holy Spirit and everything about it. We gotta know why can't you? Why can't you? We gotta know why can't you? Why can't you? We gotta know why can't you? Why can't you? We got control. Let's welcome back up on stage, Faith Over Fear. Sin is fun for a night though, but when it leaves you have road, what will you say when there, there is no more time? Oh, sin tricks you into more, chains way into the floor, what will you say when there, there is no more time? The feeling curse, it's time for blessings, no more hurt, restored in seconds, Jesus filled your place. Build your place, and will you see it? Oh, oh, oh. Call on God, God, God when all hope is lost. You'll be saying, No, no. When temptation comes, remember He gave His son. Oh, sin is gone for a night, though. But when it leaves you broke, what will you say when there, there is no more time? Oh, sin tricks you into more, chains way into the floor. give you peace trust in him and you will see what he means and you will love it he'll set you free won't sugarcoat it no, no. Call on God when all hope is lost we're saying no no when salvation comes remember he gave his son oh see this one for a night over when it leaves you but when you say when there, there is 
To him, you'll change your mind. Free you from sin and live a brand new life. His blood paved the way, so you don't carry the pain. Oh, we'll see this far for a night, though. When it leaves you have broke, but will you say when there is no more time? Oh, sin tricks you into more, change way into the floor. Or will you stay when there is no more time? I know Jesus sees you. Come on, let's put our hands together. Welcome Shelly Spencer to come up and tell us what God did in her life. Hi, I'm Shelly. Um, I got saved over 20, um, 20, well, it's been 24 years ago um, this year. And just God has done something really miraculous in my life. I came from a life of, of gangs, drugs, um, drinking, um, everything imaginable, just doing a lot of stuff for, you know, a lot of things. And I just remember as a young kid, you know, circumstances in life, um, violations and hurts. And I just remember all the stuff that I gave my life to looking for the love of a man. Um, and, you know, just never being able to find it and just, um, at, you know, in the daytime, I was all smiles and all laughs, you know, telling jokes, laughing at jokes. But at night when I was by myself, nobody knew the hurt and the pain that I felt um, in my life because of all the stuff that has happened to me and then not knowing my dad and everything. And I just remember just, you know, laying down and had some kind of sense and I didn't want to kill myself, but I did want to die. I was wishing that I would go to sleep and I would never wake up. I was just so hurt. And, and you know, when you're in it, you don't even know what's going on, but there's something deep inside of us that we need something. We need the love of Jesus Christ. But then I didn't know what it was, but I would just remember just like, man, why can't I just go to sleep and I just, you know, never wake up? I was so broken. And then everywhere I went when I came into this town, I didn't even know anything about Bullhead City people would just reach out to me and witness to me because, you know, even though I didn't care about myself, but Jesus Christ cared enough for me. He sent people to talk to me and talk to me, and I didn't listen the first time. I didn't listen the second time, but there was one point in time when I was like, well, you know what? Maybe this is it. I tried everything else. I tried the drugs, the drinking, the alcohol. I went to college. I did so much stuff, but I never was happy. It never satisfies, no matter what kind of sin. People say, oh, well, I'm a good person. You know what? That's not even the satis it's not even satisfying because we still need Jesus Christ to um, love us and care about us. You know, I, di I didn't know what it was, but I just remember coming to church and one particular time, this man was preaching about a special lady. When little girls are violated, they tend to run to men. They're so promiscuous and all this stuff and everything that he was saying, it was like the story of my life. And what was, what was crazy is I was like, man, these people don't know me, but how is this man preaching to me? A lot of us in this church have had that kind of experience. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, whatever, but I just remember when he was preaching, I just knew that whatever he was talking about, that's what I needed. All those years of searching, all those years of trying to do this thing, go to this guy, go to school, get an education, nothing else mattered. I just wanted to you know, be forgiven at that moment of time. And I remember just raising my hands and bowing my knee at the altar of Jesus Christ. And at a moment of time, you know, it did, everything just didn't go away, but I remember a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I felt so different. I felt like, man, even though I've done all these sins and I was ashamed of all the stuff I've done because I've done a lot of stuff, you know, only God will know everything that I've done. 
But when I got up from the altar, I was just so happy that I was forgiven of my sins. So if you want to be forgiven and you're thinking and you're contemplating, this is your night. Just give Jesus a try and he'll save your life. Come on, let's put our hands together for faith over fear. You're on an island, even when you're close, I can't take the silence, you feel so alone, I'm thankful for God's grace and mercy, it's time to understand, your life is flashing by so quickly, God promises more than this world ever could. Today. He's our judge, one day you'll stand at the throne of the King Did you live for yourself? God promises more than this world ever could No need to hide it, is this what you want? To carry this burden just because you won't give it up Promises more than this world ever could. We are called to be like Jesus every day. So lift his name up and tell everyone today. He's our judge, one day you'll stand at the throne of the king. Did you live for yourself? God promises more than this world ever could. Thoughts of fear pushing against you, thinking you're no good. Trust in Jesus, it's that easy. He'll restore your hurt like no one could. We are called to be like Jesus every day. So lift his name up and tell everyone today. Our judge, when day you'll stand at the throne of the king. Did you live for yourself? God promises more than this world ever Let's welcome back up on stage for their last song of the night, Faith Over Fear. Listen up right here. This is something you probably already knew. Serve a God who is looking out for you. He is the way, the life, the truth In this crazy world Everyone's trying so hard to be seen Caught up in the places that you've been Lay it down at the cross and come be clean All on his name, he's all powerful Wonderful counselor He who is holy Lift your head to your majesty, he's the risen king, he's the one and only, holy, 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 my redeemer, I know, I know, I know, 
he's coming back again. All on his name, he's all powerful, wonderful counselor. He who is holy, hey, he is holy, holy. Rejoice in his mercy, give you love, forgive your sin, give you new life that is brand new. You gon' need to give it up. How many times can we say it? You gon' need to give it up. Trust me, it ain't worth it. He is Jehovah, our Lord and our defender. Knocking at your door, waiting for you to surrender. I know I'm free, the blood of Jesus covers. I know I'm free, the blood of Jesus covers. Call on his name, he's all powerful, wonderful counselor. He is holy. Lift your hands to your majesty. He's the risen king. He's the one and only holy, 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 my redeemer. Coming back again. All on his name, he's all powerful, wonderful counselor. He who is holy. All on his name, he's all powerful, wonderful counselor. He who is holy. Lift your hands to your majesty. He's the risen king. He's the one and Amen. If I could just have a couple more minutes of your time. So in a couple weeks, I inherit a son. His name is David. He's like this tall. He's, he's awesome. Anyways, he really likes sports. So Every second he gets, he's looking up the scores, looking up players, kind of following the playoffs, see who's going to win, picks his teams, follows the Suns, stuff like that. Anyways, he really likes sports. Bottom line, he likes sports. Well, he um, he already made his pick for the finals. By the way, he doesn't want the Celtics to win because that's his best friend's team, and he doesn't want him to brag. And then he's like, the Nuggets beat the Suns, so they're gonna win. And he doesn't like the Lakers, so we're good. <laughs> Anyways, back to the point. So, so Zayden, he likes sports. He plays. Um, City League, Rec League basketball. He just finished up a flag football season. And he just had the playoffs. His team was doing decent. And they're in the semifinals. They're in the semifinals. And all they have to do, win this game, they get to the championship. So it's cutthroat. It's Little League football. Anyway, so their team gets going. They're down 12 zip, nearing the end of the game. And uh, Z's out at wide receiver, quarterback hikes the ball, fakes right, throws left, and there's Z, he got the ball. Jukes right, runs all the way across the field. They're backed up to their end zone. Jukes another kid and runs all the way down for a touchdown. I'll show you the video, it's pretty good. Runs like, like 90 yards to get this touchdown. I don't know how big the field is, it's the whole field. So now they're 12-6, they're within striking range. They're back on defense. Now the other team's like, you know what, we're going to trick them. They run the end around. Anybody know what the end around is? Where they hand the ball up this way, that receiver comes, takes the ball and runs that way. It's a trick play. Z caught onto it and tackled the kid in the, in the backfield. There's a turnover. They're right on the other team's goal line. 12-6, nearing the end of the game. Z's out wide right, quarterback hikes the ball, hits Z, boom. He runs in for a touchdown. 12-12, we can all do math, right? 12-12. 6 plus 6 is 12. Anyways, long story short, no other points are scored during this game. The referee signaled both of those touchdowns. The game comes to an end. And the referee asks, hey, what's the score, 18-6? Well, Z's team goes, no, 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 it's 12-12. We got 12 points. Well, the referee goes over to the other team. What's the score? Well, we have 13 points. Somewhere in the mix, they thought they hit an extra point somehow, but nobody scored extra points uh, in this game. The referee goes, all right, 13-12, game over. Z's team goes home. No championship for Z's team because of the incorrect score. Talk about a heartbreak. Young kid, just hero of the team. Two touchdowns, a big stop at the end of the game to get the ball back. 
and we're going home. We didn't go into overtime to see who would actually win the game. They give this team the point, and it's over. Right. So in life, we're running a race. We're running this race. This race doesn't have a, a finish line that we can see because none of us knows the date or the hour that we're going to see God. But that's the end of the race. The end of the race is when we're going to stand before God and give an account of everything we did during our race. We start our race when we're brought into this world already infected with sin, already kind of set back, but then we start hitting the hurdles, the obstacles in life. Sin, alcohol, drugs, perversion, stealing, cheating, lying. We navigate all these obstacles. And if we do nothing about it when we stand before God, that referee is going to have a record of every single thing we've ever done. And I hope that, that you're not counting on that referee to mistakenly oh, well, I missed this one, or maybe he won't actually see me do this. Because at that time, there's going to be no chance for mistake. There's going to be no chance for God to, well, I'll overlook this. And the Bible says there's no sin will enter in heaven. And if we haven't dealt with our sin before we've made, made it to that appointment, the end of our race, there's nothing that can be done for us. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11 says, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. That's cut and dry. Sinners will not inherit the kingdom of God. There's no skirting around it. There's no, well, I, I believe this, I don't believe that, or you know what, maybe it's not exactly. No, the Bible says that sinners will not enter into heaven. But that's just not it. We don't just, we're not just convict, we're convicted of our sin and there's no hope. In Isaiah 118, it says, Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are like crimson, they shall be as wool. Our sins are a stain in the eyes of God. He loves us, but he hates our sin. Everything we do, it, 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 it's not pleasing to God. He relates it right here as scarlet, red. You ever spill red Kool-Aid on a white shirt? Hard to get it out. Our sins are like scarlet red material that the color can't be drawn out. But in salvation and through Christ Jesus, your sins will be washed away. Psalms 103.12 As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. My friend, when we repent our sins, God doesn't remember them. We're on this race, running these obstacles. Yeah, we're human. We mess up. We have sin in our life. We don't have to be bound by it. We give it to Christ and he's going to forgive us. He's going to forget it. As far as the east is from the west, we can't determine that. There's, there's no physical distance. Luke 5, 31, Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I have not, called, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The only way we get that separation from our sin is if we repent. If we have, ask Christ into our heart, he comes into it and, and forgives us of our sin. Repenting isn't just saying, oh, I'm sorry I did this. It's actually turning from your sin. Going the other way, saying, you know what? I'm not going to live this way no more. I'm going to serve God, and you know what? I'm going to reap the benefits. Christ isn't going to remember my sin. And you know what? I can make heaven my home, knowing that one day I'll see God. We get the picture of life as a race, and our, and our salvation as a race with the Apostle Paul. In 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8, he says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to only me, but also to all who loved his appearing. On that day, we've got to answer for every decision we've made. Everything we've said, everything we've did. 
is everything you did under the blood? Or is it going to be held accountable? Is it going to be held before you on that day? Have you repented of your sins? Is Jesus Christ in your heart? Is he the Lord of your life? Are you serving him? If the answer is no, or I don't know, or maybe, I would hate to try and show up to that appointment. That, that You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. We have no idea when God is going to call our number and we're going to see him. We have no idea when the rapture is. The Bible says, be ready for I come as a thief in the night. Is the thief coming tonight? Tonight, will your soul be crowned of you? Will you be under the blood or will you be hoping that God has made a mistake in the records? Because you won't. With that, like every head bowed and every eye closed in this place. Jesus loves each and every one of you, my friend. He died on the cross to set you free. He died on the cross to save you from your sin. None of us are exempt. None of us are righteous. It's the gift of God that gives us eternal life. My friend, Jesus loves you. It's not a, a religion. It's not a program. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He'll come in and forgive you of your sins. That's you in this place. You say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done trying to figure this out on my own. I want Christ to come in and forgive me of my sins. Simply raise your hand in this place. Jesus Christ will touch you tonight. My friend, Jesus loves you so much. He died on a bloody cross so that you can have forgiveness. The penalty of sin is death. We can't atone our own sins and still make heaven. Jesus Christ paid that price. He defeated death. He rose again and sits on the right hand of the Father with his outstretched arms to you. Come. You're in this place. Every head's bowed, every eye's closed, and you want to accept Christ in your heart. Simply raise your hand, and Jesus Christ will touch your life. My friend, maybe at one time you were serving God. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. What matters is you're here right now. The presence of God is here, and you're being given an opportunity to receive Christ. And that's you. You say, you know what? I'm done running. I'm done doing it on my own. It just leaves me back in the same place I was, messed up, confused, lost, lonely, broken. I want true peace, true joy. I want true happiness. I want that again. Your backslider, I want you to raise your hand, my friend. Little kids are raising their hands. My friend, it's not too late. It's not too late right now. We don't know when our time is, but right now we know that there's an opportunity for God to forgive us of our sins. That's you in this place. Just lift your hand. We'll pray with you. With that, I'd like everybody to stand. We're going to sing a song of worship.
church, let's worship God in this place tonight. That concludes this mix tonight. Uh, a couple of announcements. Uh, first off, anyone involved in drama ministry, please come up to the front after uh, the mix tonight. If you want to be involved in drama ministry, come up to the front tonight. You're welcome. Uh, t- uh, tomorrow morning, Sunday School 930, we are continuing on with the series, The Chosen. Season 3, powerful series. Love having it. Uh, 1045, regular worship service with our pastor. Praise God. And then tomorrow night, 6 p.m., prayer, 7, service, be in your place. Bring a visitor, family member, friend. Just tell them about Jesus. Amen. We're going to close this night with a fast song. Can't stop. Can't stop. Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising the name of Jesus. Can't stop. Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising his name, I just can't stop. Praising the name of Jesus. And every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess, Jesus Christ is Lord forever. And every knee shall bow, confess, Jesus Christ is Lord forever. Amen. My brother Chris Fuller closes in prayer. It is Bill Starkey's cleaning crew, but man.